Hello there. You look like you're ready to do some hand weeding. Well, let's see how it's done. Wrong! All wrong! You need... <laughs> Boots. Gloves. Nitriles. Sign. Glasses. Shirt. Great. Let's do some stretches. Stretch your fingers, people, and we Check the ground for hazards such as ants. Now it's time to do some weeding. But which one? Ask a team member if you are unsure as to the weeds you are targeting. Targeting the weed with just your hands may result in an unsuccessful attempt. You will need something else. Dig below the weed with the hand weeding tool and then push down on the tool to unearth the weed. Then you must clear the weed of soil to make it lighter for the bag and to ensure it dies. This is a weed bag. Your weed bag might look slightly different. Place the weeds into the bag. Now complete works, not leaving any weeds left behind. Do not fill the weed back all the way to the top because this may be very heavy to carry to the ute. Fill the weed bags up halfway. This will be much easier to carry to the ute. Put the weed bags on the back of the ute, ensuring that no weeds can escape whilst driving. Now put the cover on the ute and you're all done. Now some other things to consider. Some plants will have bulbs that you need to remove completely from the ground. Prioritise weeds that are flowering or seeding, making sure that when you put them in the bag, no weed seeds are dropped. Some weeds are too big to be hand weeded. Use your own discretion. For optics and productivity, do not sit on the ground. Oh my god, is he sitting down? What is he even doing? I'm gonna call the council. And finally, do not try and hand weed the cat. Hello darkness, my old friend. 